Welcome to TCP Academy at tcp.academy.teachable.com. Today we're going to be doing a worksheet on cell structure and function taken from a number of CSEC past papers. That's of course for the CSEC Human and Social Bio Examination. I am Mr. Wilson. And let us just hop right into this, being that it is practice. We're going to be looking at about two minutes per question. We have 15 questions, so we're expecting to take about 30 minutes to get it done as an assessment. So cell structure and function, the worksheet is, and it's from TCP Academy, or compiled by the folks at tcp-academy.teachable.com. And the questions are, as on the screen, which of the following feature is not common to all living organisms? You have to reach through all four options and, of course, select the option which is most suitable. For question number two, which of the following organelles in the cell allow substance to pass in and out of a cell? Think carefully as you go through the options. There are four options. And, of course, don't be misled by the options that might be selected or seemingly was selected. Make your own decision. Question number three. The ability of a living organism to detect and respond to changes in its environment is referred to as this comes to us from sensitivity and coordination. And you want to make sure that you're reading the options carefully, reading the questions carefully before you make a selection. You want to do as much as possible to score full marks for this, your first exam. Question number four. Which of the following organelle is responsible for respiration? These two questions come from the CSEC 2020 paper. The options are there. Which one do you think your answer should be? Read through the question carefully and make sure you have made the right decision when you would have decided. For question number five, it refers to the diagrams that we are seeing here. Uh, the following diagrams of some specialized cells in, of course, the human body. You would have been seeing these questions from primary school, junior school. So most persons should be able to answer these questions. What we're required to do is to find out which cell uh, transmit nerve impulses. So which of these cells would be responsible for the transmission of nerve impulses? And it comes to us from the 2011 CSEC bio paper, and I'm Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biology TCP on YouTube or the tcp academyteachablecom Remember, at any time you can pause this video to ensure that you have good coverage of the question and you are making the right choice. Here at question number six, the process by which living organism gets energy from their food is known as, and there we have it again, not so much a difficult question, but it's from the CSEC 2015 paper. Question number seven comes to us from the 2016 paper, and it reads, item one refers to the following diagram, which represents an animal cell. Which structure labeled X is involved in A, B, C, R, D? Now, you want to tell us the structure labeled X, what is it involved in? Pay clean, keen attention to the labeling so as to ensure that you get full marks. We move on to question number eight, which is from the 2017 paper, and it reads, the process by which a living organism gets energy from their food is called. And this might be a question that is repeated. We want you to look at the questions. Uh, we have made sure to put them on as they come, not to filter as to whether it has been repeated or not. We are doing just like probably would have appeared on the exam paper. Question number nine, which of the following? Is not a function of a cell membrane. You have to read to all options and make sure that the most suitable answer is chosen from the list given. Question number 10. The ability of a living organism to detect and respond to changes in its environment is referred to as A, B, C, or D. Are we seeing this for the second time? This is from the 2018 paper, and we're going to be looking at question number 11. Item 2 refers to the following diagram, which re represents an uh, animal cell. The structure labeled X is involved in. You want to look at A, B, C, or D. We're seeing this question for the second time. In which of the following structure 
does photosynthesis occur? And of course, that is, of course, question number 12. And it comes to us from the 2020 paper. Item 13, the ability of a living organism to detect and respond to changes in its environment is referred to as, and this again is from the 2020 paper, item 14, which of a fallen organelle in the cell allows substance to pass in and out of a cell. Some of these questions might be from the January paper and some might very well be from the June paper. So never mind, just make sure you did your best there in scoring all 14 marks. Make sure that you would have garnered the 14 from this experiment. Please be reminded that you can pause the video and of course read at your pace the questions to ensure that you score full marks. Your teacher will provide the answer. See you. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and subscribe to tcpacademy.teachable.com. I'm Mr. Wilson, checking out.